Jesus Christ was baptized. On Monday, Pat Benedict travels to Israel. World news from the BBC. Health officials in Washington state in the U.S. say a man in his 30s has died as a result of swine flu. The man who had an underlying heart condition died of complications from the disease. He was the third person in the United States to be killed by swine flu. Meanwhile, Costa Rica in Central America has reported the first swine flu death outside North America. Thousands of people who were told to evacuate their homes in the American state of California, where fast-moving wildfires have been raging since Tuesday, have been allowed to return. More than a third of the blaze is now contained, although fire officials fear that it will take several days to put out completely. Peter Bowes reports from Los Angeles. A dramatic change in the weather helped firefighters gain the upper hand over this ferocious blaze. A blanket of cool, moist air flowed in from the ocean and quelled the flames. At one stage, 30,000 people were evacuated from their homes, but they've now been allowed to return. Firefighters are warning the danger isn't completely over. They describe the weather conditions as fickle, and while the fire is still burning, there's a danger the flames could be fanned by fresh winds. President Obama has made his first appearance at the annual dinner of the White House Correspondents Association, which in recent years has become a forum for satire at the president's expense, as well as some presidential humor. Mr. Obama made jibes about his predecessor, George Bush. He made light of current events like the swine flu outbreak in Mexico, and he spoke friendly of the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, whom he defeated during the presidential campaign. Uh, you know, we have been rivals during the campaign, uh, but these days we could not be closer. In fact, uh, the second she got back from Mexico, she pulled me into a hug and gave me a big kiss. Told me I'd better get down there myself. That's the latest BBC News. to the BBC World Service. I'm Rachel Harvey and this is The World Today. And keeping me company throughout the next hour is Nick Koch, a journalist and Africa commentator. Nick is in our Johannesburg studio. And from Detroit, Michigan, Saeed Khan, Professor of Islamic and Middle Eastern Studies at Wayne State University. Good morning to you both, gentlemen. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, sir. And, uh, and Nick, I'm, I'm imagining that this might feel a little bit like the morning after the night before. We had the inauguration of Jacob Zuma yesterday. Today, sober reflection? Well, I wonder if that's part of you, but uh, certainly there were some very big parties yesterday and last night. <laughs> and you were among, among the party goers, I'm assuming? No, I'm, I'm quite a sober character, actually, so I, I didn't get to any big parties. Oh, well, we'll